everybody, Nick from Matt's Point Tennis and welcome to another Quick Fix Friday. And today we're going to continue on this idea of the serve and one of the things that drives me uh, the most crazy or just uh, bonkers is that high toss. And you can hear me always tell people you're only as good as your toss. If you have a terrible toss, a consistent toss, you're going to have an inconsistent serve, period. I don't care who you are. Okay, and I was out playing with my friend the other day and we're playing a really competitive set and the first thing I noticed, boy, he just skyrocketed that serve. I feel like he threw it eight to 10 feet above his head. I'm not kidding. I thought, wow, that's a high serve. And he has to have incredible timing because that ball comes down and gravity's taking. You have incredible timing to get in the string bed. So the first issue I have with the high toss is the timing that you have to have. And I want you to think about, is it easier if a ball comes down and contact it or when it's come up? Which, which has more time in the string bed, when the ball is going up or when the ball is coming down? The answer is when the ball is going up. Easier hit a ball when it's going up versus when it's coming down. Number two, if you have that really high toss, you're waiting on it. Not only do you have to have impeccable timing, you're waiting on the toss to come down to finally you can get up there and hit the ball. And we want that throw to be continuous, a nice, continuous motion. We don't want to be here and then serve. It slows everything down. You lose power on that. Okay, that's one of the things you lose. So how do we fix that? Do we tell our players, hey, you know, I used to tell them, stick your arm up. Your toss only needs to go this high. Okay. You take that away and it's like, well, how high is it now? Where, where's that mark? There's no mark in the sky. And we can visualize it with a ball on the fence. Now you may need to put a ball in, the, ball in the fence, you may need to get a bench for yourself. Uh, my daughter and I had to, uh, to put this ball in, so I just reached up, we stuck a ball in there. That's my contact point. That's where I want the ball to be. Okay, so what I did is, and then I took a step to the left, and a step back, and I put my, my poly spot here. I got a dot, or you can put a piece of chalk, because not only do I want my toss just to be that high, I want my toss to be a little to the right most of the time, okay? When you kick serve, okay, it's gonna go behind you, but most of the time you want the toss a little bit to the right and up in front of you because think about that throwing motion. There's a lot of similarities here, right? That toss, that throwing motion, we're out to the right. We're not like this, right? We're throwing out to the right and ahead. Same idea here. So what you wanna do is you wanna back up. Now you can do this a couple ways. The fence is great because you won't throw too far in front of you. You wanna practice that soft toss. Now at this point, I might not care about what's happening with my arm yet. You know, maybe they're kind of like this, right? Or, and the racket's not even going up. So you gotta think about what's the purpose. You know, if they're first starting this, they're probably gonna drop. Get the toss and then start working, you know, working, making sure that arm gets up. So it might be here, it's like, man, I got a pretty good toss. It doesn't need to be that much higher than the tennis ball, than your contact point, okay? It's gonna, you're gonna have some margin there. So after I go on the fence, and I feel pretty good about it, I'll come out here and you just do some soft tosses. That's a pretty good one. And I'm not even disturbing, and I'm just watching, and you notice I'm not bending my knees. I'm focused on my toss. And I'm trying to get that hitting arm up, right into a trophy position. And you can have to do this. Okay, you can also put that poly spot right back on the tennis court and you can have them tossed to that location too so it's out in front. Okay, but I find that when I want to work on the toss height, a tennis ball at their contact point works best. Okay, so this is Nick uh, from Match Point Tennis for another Quick Fix Friday. Don't forget to subscribe below and if you like the video, please share it with your friends and if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to type them and we'll see below and we'll see you next time.